ADB is a command line tool for interacting with an Android device through a computer. To set it up, you'll need to download SDK platform tools from the official Android website. Extract the downloaded zip file anywhere on your computer. Then open the extracted folder. Hold down the shift key and right click on a blank area. When the context menu opens, click Open PowerShell window here. Once the terminal appears, connect your Android device to your computer via a USB cable. On your phone, select File Transfer on the pop-up menu. Go to Settings, About Phone then Build Number. Tap build number 7 times, or until you see the you are now a developer message. This action unlocks developer options on Android. Next, go to Settings, System, Advanced, Developer Options then USB Debugging. Enable USB debugging and tap OK to confirm. To test the ADB connection, type the following command in the PowerShell terminal on your computer and press Enter. The device ID should show up if the connection is working. If it returns a blank ID, You'll have to install the Android drivers for your device first. With ADB working, all you need is the APK file for the desired version of the app you want to downgrade to. I recommend downloading the untouched APK file from a trusted source, like APK Mirror, or the official website for the app. Then we'll install that version on top of the current one while keeping the data intact. Copy the APK file to the Platform Tools folder on your computer. In the PowerShell window, type the following and press Enter. Remember to replace Twitter.apk with the name of your APK file.
The command restored the older version of Twitter without logging me out. By default, the Google Play Store automatically updates apps to their latest version. To prevent your newly downgraded app from getting updates, you'll have to disable the auto-update feature. Open the Google Play Store app and tap your profile icon. Go to Settings, Network Preferences, and Auto-Update Apps. Then select Don't Auto-Update Apps. Your app is now locked into the same version until you manually update it.